week's live summer <laughs> sun and fun week. And if you're looking for a unique way to stay cool this summer, we've got foods to what? Keep you cool, Kelly, as a That's cucumber. Right. Please welcome back Dr. Wendy Bazillion. Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, I mean, these so, are great. Oh, let's see. Some so of these cool. to me, I, I think, okay, I get it. Some are surprising. Where should we start? Yeah, you might be surprised, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. that there's more to the than just the temperature to our food to keep us cool. And we start with cool as a cucumber. I mean, you said it. You you sort of plugged it at the beginning of the show. Cucumbers, watery, crunchy vegetables, actually have cooling properties. Um, plus, they're full of water, high water content. And so, if you consume them more in the summertime, they literally make you cool. Plus, they're so good when they are refrigerated. Mm -hmm. So there's a double. And double I love yes, cucumber spots. I only can eat them refrigerated. Yeah. I love them ice cold. Ice and cold. Crunchy. Yeah, you do a cold crunchy, soup crunchy. out of that? Of course. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What's next? Next, uh, melons. Melons like watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe. Mm. Full of water, full of nutrition, and they are cooling in nature as well, as well as mixed berries. They're high water mm. content. Watermelon has 92% water. Is it edible? Plus it's a source, yeah, absolutely. At your own risk? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Delicious watermelon. Mm. High in other nutrients too that help us throughout our summer months. Out with a knife that cut an, an onion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is your favorite. Yeah. Yes. Uh, cooling herbs. Are next. So, cooling herbs. So, you have their um, mint family, cilantro, mm, parsley. And those are really great garnishes, but they're great to muddle into drinks, mm. to put into salads. They give you a cool brush, breath of fresh air. It makes it very fresh, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, your friends will love you because your breath will be um, yeah. nice. And then fennel and fennel seeds. So, the fennel seeds are from an herb. A fennel is a vegetable, but you can snack on those and they're refreshing and cooling as well. Okay. I do like a piece of fennel, just yeah. crunchy and so nice. So crunchy yeah. and nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can, you can taste. Now, there, these are prunes want. here. I saw Gelman was drinking prune juice and vodka this morning. Is that <laughs> cooling or what? I think it's cooling. for potassium. It's a, it's a mix. One balances the other. I see. These are food sources of potassium. Oh, it is potassium. We, potassium is a, a, called a shortfall nutrient. We aren't getting enough in the American diet, and it's critically important to the transfer of fluids in and out of our cells and into how we move through our bloodstream out to our pores and evaporate or sweat. And so potassium-rich foods, bananas, of course, you know, oranges. A classic salad that we had mm -hmm. growing up was bananas and oranges together. Um, mm -hmm. Ours often had marshmallows, but here you have some mm. coconut. <laughs> Good source of potassium. Um, apricots in season. And lentils are a great yes, source of, lentils, pota yeah. of potassium mm -hmm. as well. And then finally, this might surprise you, spicy foods. And I know there was sort of a question mark at the opening of the show. Spicy foods, if you think to cultures that use spicy foods but are like hot climates all over the world, spicy foods actually induce sweating. They're vasodilators, so they open up the blood that. vessels, they bring the blood to the surface, open your pores, and then you sweat and you evaporate and it actually internally cools you from the inside. But initially out. you're warm. Initially it warms so you up, but it's like a, 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 it's a really, it's a great trick. Okay. A great instant trick that you can work with. Hmm. Hmm. More food with Wendy that's going uh, to help keep us cool this summer. Cool it down. We're slide. back with Dr. Wendy Bazilian. How do foods make you pucker? Wait. How do foods that make you pucker help you cool down, uh, right. Dr. Wendy? Well, okay. <laughs> That was so sorry, much fun. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Nikki and Mike, great. you got the dance and dance tonight. All right. Well, foods that make you go. Mm. Pucker. Yes. <laughs> Sour foods are actually similar. They stimulate our salivary glands and they have some physiological sex, um, physiological um, uh, relationship to how we sweat and cool our body as well. No kidding. Um, sometimes we don't remember all the great sour foods that we have in the diet from lemons to grapefruit, sour cherries, pickles, mm -hmm. and kimchi here, kimchi? which is like a triple threat. Kimchi is spicy, so it has oh. that spicy cooling. No, no, Cabbage, the watery. I can't. It smells like gum. <laughs> and sour. <laughs> sour is well. There you go. Sense memory. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, the man, you can try the man has kimchi for breakfast. Uh, it's in there his pants pocket as well, we speak. <laughs> he's, he's cool as a kimchi. <laughs> yes, yes. And summer soups, cold soups. Yes, you know, hot, hot soups for winter, but summer soups with summer cooling ingredients. This is a honeydew soup that is on your, on your website. Ah. Beautiful, super simple also. Let's stay out of the kitchen as much as we can. And gazpacho. They have cooling ingredients, again, high nutrition. Um, and they're hydrating, which is important for your internal temperature to cool down. I love watching him not eat foods. It's so weird. <laughs> All of these are ready for yeah. trying. Um, how about frozen foods? Do they really keep you cool? Um, and cold foods in general? They do, but there's some guidance there. Dropping, dropping frozen grapes. <laughs> 
They're slippery. <laughs> they're slippery. <Sorry. laughs> they are. They're, These are great. Hazard. They're like a little candy too. Yeah, they are. They're so sweet. They're so great. Just pop, you know, rinse them, pop them in the freezer, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Um, frozen foods, sugary ingredients. We gotta wa really, really watch. Those actually can heat you up. So you can go with natural popsicles. You can buy them in the store now. They're all fruit varieties. You can also make them at home. They're super easy. Frozen grapes, obviously. And then this is again banana nice cream. I know we've talked about this before. I like banana nice cream. Yeah. It's, it's so yummy. nice. Yeah. yeah. And there's great things that you can add to it as well. Again, recipes on your on website. On the website. Yeah. Fabulous. Great stuff. And of course, we have to hydrate, and that requires lots and lots of alcohol. Am yeah, I right? Right. You, you are. But if you're going to use, if you're going to consume alcohol, there's a two part story here. Okay. Hydration is so key. We already know that. But instead of gulping, you know, when you're, when you're thirsty and you're hot, an ice drink can cool you down temporarily, but we need to drink throughout the day. And remember that it's water, it's sparkling. Um, there's even one study if you drink milk, that milk can um, hydrate even better than orange juice or water in one ah. study. Um, and if you're consuming alcohol, just balance it. Alcohol actually is warming in general. So go with the lighter drinks, you know, like a wine spritzer, a white wine spritzer, not the heavier wines or the spicy, like the spicy spirits. You yeah. gotta watch out for those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then if you're going to consume alcohol, balance it with a water in between. So one for one, at least, if you're gonna consume alcohol. So is this alcohol. whiskey or water? This one here, that this one's looks a like balancing yeah. whiskey. Yeah. That's, that's your. Yeah. One for one. one that's your whiskey. And there's some recipes for, you know, some nice um, mixes of Lem fresh lemonades on your um, on your website, lemonade iced tea. Oh, Don't like forget that. about hydrating because what we're doing is we're trying to help our bodies cool from the inside out during the summer to help us out. Good <laughs> tips, useful stuff. KellyRyan.com for all of Wendy's tips and more. And coming up next, we'll open up the inbox. Thank you, Wendy.